Hello, America. Woo-hoo-hoo. I love it. We're farming. We're farming. Hey guys, how's it going? Wade Mitch here. Today we are back on another part of a series, I guess you could call it. So, a few months back, I recorded a farm build video on Stitzer, Wisconsin uh, by MRG. And you guys seem to really like the idea of the farm builds. And I asked if you guys wanted to see more, and you said yeah. So, um, we finally had another map. It is uh, somewhat recently came out called Loma, Montana. Now, this map is not the traditional style that I would play on. It's a western map, really big farms, feedlot kind of map. But I wanted to give my go at a farm build of that style. So, um, without further ado, we're just going to get right into it. Give you guys a little bit of a tour of the map here just so you can get a feel of what we're working with. And I already have a spot picked out that I think is um, a really nice spot for a farm. So, um, I mean, we'll just kind of, this is the spawn point of the map, so I'll give you a little look. It's a really scenic map. Um, now, do not uh, blame the map for the render distance issues. If you have a really good PC and you can load in all the foliage far out, it looks amazing. I've seen it before. But we just have a few maps and such here. Anyways, uh, we're going to get in flight mode here. So you can see, um, we got all the mountains and the hills around us. And we got lots of water on the map too. Big open fields. Big feedlots here. Um, the starter farm, I believe, is this one on the hill here, which is a really cool spot. I just thought that being down in the valley would be um, a, just a cooler spot for a farm build, just so you can see the mountains around you. Um, and also, I do apologize, I'm a little sick right now, a sinus infection or something, I think. So, if you hear me kind of blow my nose or sniff one a little bit, um, I apologize for that. I'm going to try to cut it out if I can. But, anyways. But yeah, going through here, you can see all of the sitting water, little rivers meadows off this main river here and way off in the distance more fields up on there and then there's a town up here in the corner so we aren't going to be too far from the town um, I'll show you guys what we're building in a second pretty central area on the map got train tracks there's a main road that cuts through here that isn't gravel but you see we got a decent sized town going here really nice detailed area here some really nice highway textures actually too. I didn't get a chance to look at them. Anyways, let's go over uh, and get this farm build started. Uh, these things do take quite a bit of time, so we gotta quit wasting our time here. Let's fly over past this little hill here. Now I already kind of set us up. Um, we're going to be right here. Um, so the goal is kind of by these big fields. You can see pretty central. Here's the PDA, by the way. Really nice uh, how he meshed in the outsides of it, too. But. Alright, sorry about that. Anyways, um, what I was saying is, we're just going to get right into this farm build here. So, I'm going to do my best to get the... I big style farm build, I guess. Um, I haven't done that a lot in 22. So, let's look for like a shed here first. Just kind of get an overall idea. Hmm. Oh, these would be nice. So, dry storage. Implement sheds. It's nice. Shop here. Probably get one of those. Um, let's see. I think we'll go shop here. And then probably put this across like right here, I bet. It's a good spot. No, I don't like that there already. I didn't realize the uh, apron for the barn there was so... 
can back it up here, I guess. Yeah, I want the entrance of the farm to be right here. Kind of a central area, so like if I'm coming off that road, I can hop through there. It's kind of hard now, because I made that you know, weird spot. That's good, I guess. You have to do a lot of work kind of flattening this out. That's good for now. Let's see. So, that's quite a bit of storage already, actually. Let's... We need to... Work on... These are like the same exact things, aren't they? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. You probably get... Commodity shed would be good for this farm, I feel like. We'll get one of these. Hmm. Let's get our snapping on. Let's go with the on. Alright. Let's see. Um, you know what? We're actually probably... Let's just leave the sheds there for now. Um, I want to figure out what gravel he's got on this road. This gravel looks really nice. I know it's a little bit of a mixture, I think. Pathway gravel? No, it's not that. Alright, let's just run... Work this. That looks... that looks good, I guess. We'll use that for our farmyard. Yeah, that's nice. And then we're gonna mix in. Looks like what he did is he actually mixed in some gravel on the edges here. Yeah, there we go. And so the map actually has a lot of really nice built in like grasses and everything here. So like medium grass, short grass, mixed weeds. Tall weeds. All these bushes. So, we gotta just try to short grass up it. Yeah, short grass on the edges here. Alright, um, and let's do the same thing over here. We'll get a path going into this farm. Probably. Let's see, where are we at? What are we using there? Grab pebbles? Alright. Hmm. So we'll get... This little apron made here. And let's see... Farmyard that kind of goes out... Around here? Yeah. Now we gotta decide if we want our silos in this side of the farm, or the other side. That's what we're going to have to think about here. So, and let's just get a little path along the road here like we did on their farm. And we're going to leave it Kind of so we can just go straight into that shed if we need to. And let's find a gravel here. Right there. There we go. Alright, um, so for now, we'll be good on sheds there. I think. Um... I don't know what else we really have, but it's going to fit this color of farm build. Yeah.
Maybe something like this. Um, doesn't exactly match, though. Oh, that matches. There we go. We can do this, I guess. Look at that, right? There. That fits good. Um, we already have this one and this one. Let's see. That matches. We'll go ahead. We'll go with this shed right here. Yeah, I like that. And we'll actually move this one up a little bit. A lot of colors on here. There. Let's get our painting tool back out. Uh, we were using this. Yeah. Just paint around here. Now let's see. I guess there's a decent bit of trees here. What kind of trees are we? kind of trees are these. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Looks like some oaks get thrown in here. And then we'll get, you know, bushes behind the sheds. Oh, always looks alright. It's obviously not a lot of traffic going through here. Alright, so that side of the yard looks alright. Now, we gotta figure out what kind of silo setup we want here. I feel like it's a little big. Maybe we just go like some big setup. Yeah, just like a big long setup here. Like that's gonna be what we want to do. Or that or even, I've seen some kind of arch around. I think we'll go like that, and we'll do them back here. there. Yeah, I like that. Let's get our dirt going from this. Let's go okay, straight off there, I think. Um, yeah, like that. And then have that come out around here. I like this. Now, in the comments, I want you guys to let me know what you think about this. All you guys who do a lot of the bigger farms. I'm just not too familiar with it yet. That looks good. I'm gonna go over this farm. Leave that little bit in the middle there. Mm -hmm. Not like that. Right, so, probably fit in one more little shed if we can. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe that's just good. Or maybe we move this over. Let's see. It would be cool to have these sheds, but they're only blue. 
Hmm. You can look in the shops too, I guess. Walker sheds are pretty cool. Hmm. Um, let's go beat tools, right? Yeah. I'm gonna put a scale house in here. <laughs> we could. You know what? I guess scale house would be pretty cool. I don't know if that's very... Um, here we go. that in. Let me know if we should put a scale house in here. I just don't think it's a... Uh... That's way too big. Maybe we can run one of these. Looks like we got some similar colors. Maybe not. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead. Um, we're going to need room for the auger, I think. So let's kind of... Kind of decorate this in here a little bit. Incorporate it with some gravel. Always makes it look better here. Add some detail and some depth. Alright, sorry, I had to keep having the pause the recording for stuff. Um, but like I was saying, we're just going to try to add detail into this gravel here. Because if we don't, it's just going to kind of look boring and bland. Uh, that's one of the main things you got to do. Just work on adding that depth of detail. Especially with this, like... Gravel is the same tan as the buildings. We really want to... Give it at least a little bit of contrast. Um, some bushes in this part. And then we'll get a couple trees in here too. Um, I think we said we're using oaks. A couple big ones. Looks better. A few out here, you know, between the farms. And a forest and wood in, like, around that, but we want to leave like that little line of sight out to the mountains there, and to the mountains behind us. So we might take out some of these large ones, they are a little tall. Small ones though, look nice, I like these. Um, we can get a path too, right here, let's get another path, exit out to the road. Do a wide one here. Gonna remain entrances. And once again, let's grab our gravel. Detail this side of the farmyard. And we'll get it going into that storage there. Keep it like concentrated around the sheds here. Kind of like little wheel paths almost. There we go. We can go back Get some more bushes out around here. All behind the bins and everything. Get just a couple small oak trees. Yeah, that's looking good. Alright, and then I think the last touch we're going to add to this farm here is some fences. Now, I don't know what kind of fence. Um, maybe these. Barbed wire. Yeah, so these barbed wire fences, maybe? Sorry, I, I keep having to pause the recording from sneezing a bunch. <laughs> maybe that or we just don't do fencing. Um, Another is old classic wooden fence in here. Wait, is this one? 
that might hmm. I think that looks good, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Just always add just that little bit of detail that we want. I feel like this western fencing. I mean, not even western, just like homemade. Kind of goes with like the western frontier vibe I'm trying to have. If that makes any sense. So yeah, that looks good. Get some more going in here. I'm gonna back it off at entrances. I like that. Hmm. We're looking pretty good here. What do you guys think of this farm build so far? For those of you who are still watching at the 20 minute mark here. If you are, let's, uh, as always, thank you for watching the content. I'm going to try to do better upload. <laughs> I know I always say that and it never really happens. So, I mean at this time. We'll get some fence going down to the feedlot there. We might use the feedlot. We might actually play this save. I don't know. All depends on if you guys want to see it or not. So, I like that quite a bit. I do like that fencing. Hmm. It's looking really good. I'd like some more bushes around the back here. Maybe throw in some of this short grass. And just add that little bit of texture. So one trick I like to do is you put the grass down and then you grab the paint tool and then you paint this uh, ground texture over it. Like this. Thin it out. Because realistically this is going to be our area for the auger. So it's not going to be getting used as much. Maybe I don't like how that looks. It kind of looks a little weird. That's alright. Yeah, that's looking really nice. Really fits in with the feel of the map here, I think. We can even go to like adding this old worn down barn, I think, would add a really nice touch here. Add some of these bushes around it. And then go back, hit it with the grass, thin out those bushes just a little bit, make it look a little more realistic. Not so overgrown. And just, you know, hit them with some trees in front of it. Maybe like a willow. Oh yeah, I like that. Just grab some more of this fence here. I'll just bring it along the back side of the farm. Finish. Kind of what we started the fencing here. There we go. And then, you know, path to our field. Probably want that. Nice wide one for the combine. that. And leave some of that grass there. Just get gravel. Mix that in. There we go. And then finally, let's see if we can get some decorations here. The paint tank. <laughs> Vertical. I've never seen this before. Uh, some meridians. Liquid. Uh, let's get us a fuel tank in here. Let's get that right there. Let's get a meridian fuel tank at this shop. Be fancy over here. Um, we'll get some painting up here. Don't forget that. That. Uh, 
and gravel. Hmm, anything else? Water pit. Okay. I think we're looking pretty sharp here on our farm build. Pressure washer. Each of our shops. Nice. And the final touch. Let's see. This is the hardest part. One of these looks the most western. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. I think we gotta go one kind of match our farm, or we just go wait farmhouse. up right there. Yeah, backed up to the river. Look at that view. Give it a nice path out here. Grass around the house, and then let's find some gravel. Work on a few paths just around the house. Out at the back patio, just around the patio, and then finish off our driveway with the little streaks. And just wrap that fencing around here like we have been. And then let's just grab a few more decorations here. <laughs> Looking for it. Yep, right here. Fence decoration. Put our grass back in. And then we'll give them a few, a few trees, a few bushes. And cap it off. Fenced in yard. All right, that is pretty, pretty fancy. I'm thinking I'm liking this. Might play on it. Um, I will save all this. If you guys would like to see this save game, would like to use it, let me know in the comments. Or you can just look at it and make it yourself. Make your own. Um, but yeah. Uh, that is going to be it for me on this series. Episode of the series, uh, if you want to call it that. Maybe we'll keep doing this. Let me know if you want to see some farm builds on other maps. I'll uh, leave those maps in the comments. Uh, cause, you know, I'll probably go ahead and do them. Um, I like doing these kinds of content, seeing how well I can build other styles of farms. Um, we tried the EU one, that did not go well, obviously, you guys saw that. Anyways, uh, I won't keep you guys much longer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, just let me know anything you guys need in the comments, I'll be there to answer it. Uh, like, subscribe, you, you know the drill. Thanks for watching, that's all for me. See you next time. Peace.